So after training and coaching over 30,000 entrepreneurs through our various courses and programs, the number one thing I hear when it comes to marketing is, Kim, I am so overwhelmed with the amount of content I have to create. It is so overwhelming. I just don't have time to create content and then also serve my clients and sell more and find leads and all the different hats we have to wear as entrepreneurs. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I tell them. Like, hey, you need an actual process, a workflow, you need a content calendar to start moving from actually just creating content willy nilly to having a pro level process. And that's exactly what I'm going to teach you right now. So let's jump into it. All right. So I'm here inside one of my favorite content calendar tools, Trello. It is totally free. And I highly, highly recommend that you check out the link that accompanies this episode. It's going to be a blog post where we're going to share even more resources that I just don't have time to get into this video with you so that you can crush your content creation. So in Trello, we're going to move from left to right. And one of the first things I want you to do is we're going to start with this list right now. We have two main lists. Number one, your long form content ideas. And then as we move over here to the other side of the board, we're also going to look at your micro content ideas. This is where you're going to be creating your social media content versus your long form content. And there's two important reasons why you want to create long form content. Number one, it's going to build your authority like nothing else. It's so important that you're actually building the relationship that you're adding trust and value. And that's where your sales are going to come from. Mostly long form content. And we can debate that, but that's for another video. However, it also second reason is going to allow you to create content on social media in such an easier way, because then you're going to repurpose your content into social media posts that are shorter, whether it's Instagram reels, if you're doing video or, you know, stories, if you're doing podcasts or really just any kind of post, right? Like here on the YouTube community tab, we have content that we share there. Maybe it's tweets, maybe it's Pinterest pins, all of it. You're going to be able to repurpose and reuse so much easier if you just started with long form content. So I'm going to get back here to our board and you're going to start just creating a brain dump of all the different ideas that you could create. Again, don't get caught up on the style or the format. It could be blog content, it could be uh, YouTube content, it could be podcast, newsletters, all of that is long form. And so you'll see here, I have a bunch of different ideas and each one of them is labeled based on what I'm going to be um, creating. So if this, for example, is your idea here and you want it to be, let's say a YouTube video and a blog, but not necessarily a podcast or a newsletter, then you're going to label it as such. What I love about this description part is that you can actually add the outline of the content. So you can do an intro, right? And then you do main content here, main content points, and then your outro. And that can be something that you do very easily in here. You can also just attach a Google document or a ClickUp document or an Evernote, whatever you're using to actually create your content. You can attach it right here. And then you can also have like photos or images, but we'll get to that later. What we're really just looking for is scheduling a particular time. So I recommend going in and publishing your long form content at least once a week, right? You start with once a week. You don't need to do more than that at the beginning. And it can just really serve you to start there and then start building as you move forward. Now, keep in mind, this is not your social media content. You're going to be posting more frequently on social, but your long form content once a week. So let's say that I publish on Wednesdays and I'm going to save that here. I'm going to do the same thing with my ideas and be like, okay, so I have something here for the 22nd. Let's see. I also want to publish on the 29th. So I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to have Boom, this one's gonna be the next week. So it's gonna be the sixth. And then we're gonna go in here and we're going to publish the next episode on the following week on the 13th. So now I have a full month worth of long form content and I can go see that here on the calendar just to make it really, really easy. Boom, here are all those different content pieces that I'm gonna be creating. And if I wanna create new ones, I can always just click here on the card, set the title and say something like how to create a content calendar. Boom, and that is ready to go. So moving back here to, if you want to use a weekly view, you can also do that, which is super helpful when you're also planning micro content or your social media content in this way. So you can toggle from month to week very easily. 
awesome. So I hope that you're starting to see how this can be something that's very simple and that can really just level up your process. From there, we're gonna move into research and you can go in here and start looking at some keywords maybe that you wanna create if that's important to you. You can look at some questions that people might have or competitor ideas so that you reach or talk about this topic from a different angle. I love Sean Cannell. He always says that you have to research before you press record. And this doesn't have to be this like elaborate process, right? My research usually takes 10, maybe 15 minutes if that. Um, and now I have a team that really helps with a lot of that. So if you're just writing solo, it doesn't have to be complicated. You just want to have a basic idea of what is already out there and how you can complement the content that is out there instead of necessarily competing with it. So as we go and move on to the next step here, we're in production. This is where you're going to start creating the actual thing, right? Whether that is um, a blog or a podcast or a YouTube video, you're going to just be creating that particular uh, piece of content. So you're going to record it, you're going to outline, it, you're going to write it, you're going to um, edit all of that. And that can happen in the production phase. One of the things that I find extremely helpful in the production phase is going in and just having a big, big, big brain dump on everything that is required for this content to go from idea to actually being published. And so that's what we have here. And if you are part of our program, the content calendar system, you have access to this board and you have all of these checklists already set up for you and saved um, in the checklist section. And you can see these are all the processes that you go through. This can seem like a lot, but I promise you, listen, look at me, look at me. I promise you, you probably are just having to remember everything in your head and it's taking up so much white space it could be used for creativity and for thinking of better ideas to serve your customers and creating you know better ways to sell instead you're filling it up with all these little things that you have to get done look at this list this list is insane it's pretty serious and this is what has to happen with all of these content pieces like create draft in wordpress polish the blog draft proofread and grammarly embed youtube video if available include at least two internal links in the blog to related content that's a lot to remember and if i just have this in my head if you just have this in your head it's just going to be overwhelming and chaotic and we don't want to do that instead we want to have it all outlined here in trello or whatever tool that you use so it's easy and it's completely out of your head, all you have to do is follow the checklist. And as you complete each step, you can just mark it off, which is so helpful. And by the way, I have all these um, copied over from other um, just cards in this particular board. And that way I don't have to think about it. So I absolutely love this. If you want a copy of this board and seven other, I think six, yeah, six others, definitely check out our Trello template pack. We sell these in a bundle and you're going to get a really good deal. So I'm going to put that in the um, description box below if you're interested. Moving on, we're ready to publish. So once we're ready to publish, then we start moving that those cards over here to the section. And this just signifies that, okay, we're getting ready to publish. And then we do final touches, right? Maybe last proofreading. Maybe we create some of that micro content and then we hit publish and that is it. And we also have this on hold um, list here where you can just, you know, if there's content pieces that maybe just are not relevant or there's something that you need, you can always move them there. But please customize this to however you want. Here's the micro content ideas. And, and one of the things that I want to share with you is before you go into your micro content ideas, I always recommend having content buckets um, here. And I'm going to hide myself so you can see them. Content buckets for your individual social media platforms. For me, I do not recommend that you go in and try to tackle all social media platforms at once. You should have one pillar long form content platform and one supporting one. So maybe that's YouTube and Instagram, or maybe it's blogging and Pinterest. It's totally up to you and where your audience is at. However, this is what I would highly recommend that you do. So posts, right? You're going to be posting, for example, one time a day. And so these are the different buckets of content that I'm going to be sharing on those particular platforms. So business advice, video teasers, personal posts, promos, behind the scenes. You can choose your own based on your industry, your niche, and what you want to share on that platform. But for me, this is going to be my basic schedule. So I know that I have those kind of posts. Then I can go and outline or brainstorm a bunch of different ideas, and then I can schedule them. And so for example, if you want this to be an Instagram post and you would go here and you would create the label and you would say maybe something like IG, and then you would create that label and that's done. And you would want to schedule that for a particular date. So let's say that you have this 
and it's scheduled here on Monday. Awesome. I'm going to do the same thing here. Like I have all my Instagram posts, right? And I'm going to go in here, create that label, and then set up a particular deadline. And then maybe that's going to be the Tuesday post. And you can do the exact same process here, right? You can link your reel or you can add some Canva graphics or you can write the actual copy of the post. So something really important to keep in mind is you're only going to be planning on Trello unless you're part of the content calendar system where I actually show you how you can link up Trello with a scheduling tool that pushes out your content with one click. It's amazing. We figured out how to do it. And if you want to figure it out on your own, please do. But the idea here is that you're going to be planning all of your content in one place and then taking that to wherever you're going to be publishing it. So for us, we already graduated to the point where we don't have to plan every single post individually. We can load it up into our scheduler and I approve everything there. But if you're just getting started, this is a much easier way to just have everything in one simple place. So back here to the board, if I go then to my content calendar, I can actually see, oh, oh, well, look at this. It's filling up and it's looking pretty good. I have my Instagram content. And by the way, if you want to be able to see what that looks like, just click on the actual label. So I have IG, IG here. I know. Okay, cool. I have one, you know, I need to probably schedule another post here for Instagram, another post here for Instagram. And I pretty much have that week figured out, right? So you want to do the same thing with all of your platforms. You're going to go in here and say, okay, cool. So maybe you're doing YouTube or you're doing your Facebook group. You want to start adding content based on the schedule that you've set up for yourself. For example, here with Facebook group, maybe the schedule looks like, let's see here in schedule. Maybe it looks like one right, post per day. And then we can look at the buckets and say, okay, I want to have questions. I want to have icebreakers, a live video, and then maybe some um, tips. Awesome. So I have that figured out and now I'm going to go in and then fill up my calendar according to that, right? So boom, I got this, filling it out, getting it ready. Awesome. And I have an idea of what I'm going to be publishing on my Facebook group and I'm going to label it as Facebook group. So really this whole process is really, really easy and simple, but not just that it creates that mental white space that you need to actually start creating content instead of letting it totally overwhelm you or keep you stuck. So I hope that you're starting to see how this entire process of just having a content calendar can just help you relax, not stress so much about the content you're going to be creating. And more importantly, not be overwhelmed or stay stuck. We want to start making you create some content because you're a creator. You're not a consumer. That's what entrepreneurs do. And so we got to get unstuck from this entire process and actually get into the content creation part. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to love my blogging class. Even if you don't like writing like me, I'm going to show you how you can scale your blog to multiple seven figures. And Hey, I'm serious. I don't write any of my blog posts. I actually love creating video content and podcasts like this one. I'm going to show you how you can actually monetize blogging and other style of long form content on your website and actually start creating a lot of momentum with selling through your content in that free class. I'm going to link all of those details in the description box below. But hey, you already have one piece of the puzzle, which is creating a content calendar. If you want to learn how to create a content plan, I'm going to also going to link a free video that we have on that topic. And of course, as always, all of these awesome resources and way more that I just don't have time to get into are going to be linked in the blog that accompanies each one of these episodes. Hey, so if you're wondering what's the next step or you want to work with me and my team, I highly recommend checking out these three awesome resources. Number one, you're going to want to download our success path, which is going to show you exactly what stage of online business you're in. Spoiler alert, there's six of them and what to be working on and not working on for each stage so that you can get to your goals faster and with more clarity. Number two, you're going to want to come and listen to the business knowledge podcast where we dive even deeper every single week into advanced business and marketing strategies that you won't hear about here on the channel. And of course, 
Number three, you're gonna want to join us inside the Business Lounge membership, where me and my business partner, Chris, we coach and train online entrepreneurs on how to leverage proven and practical business and marketing strategies to level up your business, attract more buyers, and actually create a business that you absolutely love. You're not gonna wanna miss it. We have over 30 training programs, an entire success path, but you're getting right now for free is just a preview. And we go live every single month to teach you on a new topic, answer your questions, and coach you one-on-one. -on -one. Plus, we're about to release something incredible, depending on whether or not you are already a part of the membership or when you're watching this video, we might have already released it. If so, it's gonna be linked in the description box below, but it's pretty amazing. It's only for members for now. All right, I love you, and I hope to see you inside one of those amazing resources. Until next time, un beso, see you soon.